Good morning, Thailand. Tuvo Cruz here checking in with. Goodness. And today we are. Flying to Vietnam. <laughs> flying to Vietnam, Tuong's home country. Yeah. Don't be deceived, she's got a Japan shirt on, <laughs> but she's 100% Vietnamese. And we've been looking forward to this day for over two years, trying to move to Vietnam. And finally, we're going on one of the first flights, our first normal flights from Thailand back to Vietnam. And we are fully loaded. <laughs> we've got so much luggage and we've been so stressed preparing for this trip. So uh, let's show you guys what we got. We've got our two normal suitcases, of course. And <laughs> those are actually probably our lightest bags. Uh, we've got our folding bike. We've got some new pads. We couldn't find some cardboard, so we went to Mr. DIY in Thailand and found this nice sort of foam pad. Works perfectly to protect the bike and make it more discreet. They're put in the IKEA bags, of course. So we've got two of those. We've got Tung's folding bike, or she's the pink one. And we got my folding bike. It's wrapped in yellow. We lost one strap in our last trip. Here's Tung's folding bike, and we've stuffed some clothes in there, some extra padding as well. And we've got our bad boys here. These are our Kaze road bikes. And Kaze was really awesome. They hooked us up, boxed these up for us, and made them all nice and fresh and safe for our flight to Vietnam. And of course, we've got our backpacks. So those are our carry-on baggage. And we're really worried because we're flying with Vietjet Air. And their whole website, every article that's about anything, automatically redirects to the default like page here in Thailand. So we haven't been able to do any research on the luggage uh, just from some other blogs and stuff. So we finally came here. We went to the information counter over there and I was able to buy some extra weight. So I confirmed that it's not per luggage piece, but it's by the total weight that you have. So we ended up buying 50 kilograms per person. So I think that should be enough. This bike is probably about 15 kilograms. Uh, the folding bike's actually heavier, probably 17. And then these are about 15 as well for each of the suitcases. So I think 50 kilograms should be enough. They're probably gonna charge us with an overweight size, but that's okay. We'll, we'll see how the damage is, but um, everything is ready for us to go. Let's ask Tun Chan, what did we need for our flight to Vietnam? Nani ga hitsiorata? Of course, the most important thing is the? Visa. Visa. And luckily I'm married to a Vietnamese person and they started issuing visas for the spousal exemption again. So um, they're also issuing like e-visas for tourists right now. Hopefully they'll introduce some longer tourist visas pretty soon. What else did we need? We needed the PCR test. So you can get the RT PCR test. That's the expensive one within like 70 hours before the departure. We did the rapid one yesterday. Uh, that's within 24 hours and it's a lot cheaper. What else did we need? Uh, health insurance for me for not for you yes. yeah she doesn't need it because she's vietnamese but um, that's pretty cheap it's only like 40 bucks a month health insurance with covid coverage and we also had to do the website declaration yes. that's really easy you just put in your information uh, so really the steps haven't been bad so far in practice but it's just been stressful getting up to this point but uh, we got about 30 minutes before we can check in for our flight so We'll check back in after we check in and hopefully it goes well. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, the difficult part is over. How do you feel, Tun Chan? You feel good? Yes, we're definitely a lot less stressed now. We made it through check-in. We checked in our bikes. They didn't charge us anything extra for the bikes yet, so I'm pretty surprised. Um, no oversized fee, no overweight fee. Uh, but we did have 100 kilograms in weight total between the both of us for all three of our bikes. We made it through immigration. We made it through the security check. Now we just got to wait for our flight to come and we're going to wander around the airport, see what shops are open. Maybe we'll stop in the lounge and I think Tun Chan's got some snacks in her yeah. hand. Enjoy some food. What do you got? What kind of food? Bread. Bread. Yes, and snack. I don't know what. what? Some bread, some nuts. Okay. Yeah. You hungry? I'm hungry. We didn't eat breakfast yet. Yes. What time did yes, we wake yes. up today? 5:30 a.m. Mm, 5:30 a.m. Yes. Yes. Very early day. Yeah, I'm so sleepy. So sleepy. Yeah. But soon we'll be in Vietnam. 
Vietnam? Oh, you woke up. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can. I can eat pho. I can eat pho every most day. Of, most of it, most of it. Almost. Almost. Mm, I can almost eat pho. Yeah. Or soon, yeah. soon I can eat pho. Yes. Soon I can eat pho. Yeah. For any new fans to the channel, Tung is a pho girl. No, no, don't, don't. Her family runs a pho restaurant, so she was nicknamed pho throughout her school years. I had pho smell. Pho smell. Yeah. But now it's been a long time since she's had some real pho, so she's pretty excited. Anyway, um, here we are in the Bangkok airport. This is the, the newer airport, BKK. And we just made it into the international departures area. So there's a bunch of different gates here. And let's go over here. They've got our flight information. Hopefully it's not canceled. I've been checking the flight like every day to make sure it won't be canceled. Uh, so we're leaving 10.50, I think. Oh, they changed it, 10.45. This one, Vietjet Air, Da Nang. Yeah. BZ 960, 1050, gate C1A. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it still feels like so strange to travel and be in an airport. I remember we were so stressed when we were in Tokyo last fall, last November when we flew here to Bangkok, we were so stressed getting all the paperwork. And fortunately, as long as you have everything prepared from the list and Print it out makes it a lot easier. Uh, this time was also really smooth, so we had a lot of like barriers in place, things on my list that I was worried about, but we just gradually gone through one by one. And here we are, only one more barrier, or two I guess, we gotta get on the flight and then get through immigration in Vietnam. But we're almost there, and yeah. There's actually a lot of people in the Bangkok airport today. I think more people for the domestic lounges, the international lounge, it's not too dead. It's not, well, <laughs> this shop's pretty empty. I don't know, I think things are coming back to life now and like travel is getting easier to do here in Asia. So hopefully in the future, um, when we're living in Da Nang as our new base, it'll be easier to travel around here. We can come back to Thailand and we want to visit some other countries as well. What other countries do you want to go to, Tuan Chan? Next country. Next country. Taiwan. Taiwan? Yeah. Yeah, we love Taiwan. I, I need Taiwan breakfast. Taiwanese breakfast? <laughs> yeah, so good. And they got some really good cycling there too. So we really want to go back to Taiwan. And we also want to go to the Philippines. Yeah. For sure. Singapore. Singapore. America. America. Yeah, these are all on the top of our list. We're gonna try and apply for a tourist visa for Tun Chan. Uh, once we're in Vietnam, we've been waiting to apply for that uh, just because she didn't really have like a permanent address and like, it's a pretty strict application even though we're married. So yeah, we're excited. Hopefully travel gets back to normal pretty soon. We get a nice new solid home base that we can return to and we wanna start doing some more traveling. And it'll be a lot easier now that we have a place to go back to. Once we get our bike safely in Vietnam, we don't have to worry about like transporting all of our luggage and keeping everything super light. We can have a nice base to leave stuff back home in Vietnam and then travel in between there. Doesn't look like there's too much over here where we're going. We're just gonna... Yeah, be careful here. But it's always my policy to check out the gate for your flight. Make sure you know exactly where it is, how far away you are so you can get there in time. So we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, I think they're actually like getting these stores ready to be back in business. This is pretty interesting. You probably don't see this appearance very often, like where the shelves are half empty. They've got boxes everywhere. They're getting everything back on the shelves. So yeah, looks like back in business here for international travel. That's pretty exciting. Oh, Tung found the food. <laughs> ah, Tung's mango rice. That was the thing that Tung was most excited for when we first moved here to Thailand, mango rice. Lately, she hasn't been eating the rice part though. We've just been getting a lot of mango. She goes to the market like every day when we were in Chiang Mai and <laughs> we'd eat like two or three mangoes every day. It was pretty intense. It was really good actually. Luckily, the fruit is also pretty cheap in Vietnam and hopefully they got some good mangoes there. So here we are, we're an hour and a half early 
we're just scoping it out, making sure we know the right place and schedule time, 10.45. So we're gonna find a, a nice little place to wait, eat and get some work done. See you on the flight. To you. <laughs> We made it guys. Welcome to Da Nang. We're here with Tuan Shan and all of our bikes seem to be intact. We've got our two suitcases, our two folding bike bags, and we've got our road bike boxes here. And I've been amazed so far. Everything has been going super smoothly. We just checked through immigration over there and it was really easy. They did the screening. We showed them our QR code from our health declaration. We showed them our negative PCR test. Then went through immigration normally. Just showed them my passport, got my stamp, and uh, uh, Tung, I think you got a, <laughs> you got a sticker. <laughs> Tung was grabbing all the luggage. And unfortunately, we've got some bad weather waiting for us here in Da Nang. It looks like it's gonna be raining all week. So that's too bad, but that's okay. We're gonna just be hotel hunting. Unfortunately, probably not going to get any great views and maybe not be able to cycle for a while, but almost there. We just got to go through the luggage check. I think we're going to buy a SIM card here. Then we got to find a big van type taxi to carry all these bikes, get to our hotel, and then we're done for today. And here we are, guys. We finally made it to our hotel. Our journey is over and pretty much the entire trip, nothing went wrong. Everything went smoothly. We checked in all our bikes. We didn't get charged anything extra. I'm amazed. We haven't opened up the bikes yet to check out how they're doing, but it's raining outside. We're not going to do that today. We'll save that for tomorrow. And unfortunately, our trip is coming to a little bit of some bad luck here at the end. You can see we're in this small little room here. So this is about 25 square meters, which is kind of the standard like room size here. It's pretty small. So we actually like paid extra to get the bigger room here, but unfortunately they double booked us for the first night. I guess they made a mistake uh, putting in our reservation. We booked on booking.com. So uh, we're stuck here in the small room for tonight. Our road bike boxes are left downstairs in storage. That's okay. We're just gonna rest here for one day and we'll get our bigger room tomorrow. So if that's our only problem today, I have no complaints. And yeah, we're pretty cooked. We're gonna just relax for the rest of the day. Go get some food. Yes. Tung wants to eat pho tonight, yes. I think. <laughs> and waiting so long. Waiting so long. Yeah, waiting is so long. <laughs> yes. Three years. Ah, and we've had some big surprises here back in Vietnam so far. The cars, the seat, the driver's seat is on the left yeah. side. So they drive on the right side of the road. Yeah. So opposite of Japan, opposite of Thailand. We've been on the left side for so long and now we're on the right side. So that's a big change. And yeah, Tuing's excited to be back in her home country. I can't believe how easy it was for us to get in here. Like we just, we just went through immigration. We grabbed our luggage. Uh, we didn't get charged anything for the bikes. Like when we got our luggage inspected when we left, they just checked our check bags and let us walk through with four bikes. So not gonna complain. Yeah. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support. And we're really excited to share our lives here in Vietnam with you guys moving forward. We're going to be looking for a new place to stay, a new home here over the next week. And we'll keep you updated. A special thank you as well to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. And we'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.